Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. I am so excited for this tutorial. We are doing Maribel off the map, piecing it together. Um, so this series is gonna be a few different videos because there's gonna be Maribel just the way we normally do it with all the cardstock pieces, and that's what we're gonna do today. Um, but I'm gonna pepper it in with things that I wanna do to make it extra. So part two of the putting together will be all the extra pieces, like adding yarn, um, to the butterfly on the on her little shoulder and adding tassels to the skirt that looks more like her skirt in the movie and also she wears pom-pom earrings so that's going to be part two where I show you how to make these pieces and honestly this I just did I'm not sure if this is the right size because we got to put her together first to see you know size wise do I need to trim this a little bit more um, so we're going to do, I, you know, I want to do all those extra pieces, but I will be showing you along the way what the extra pieces are. Now she is 48 inches, so four feet high. Um, and that's the size of about a first grader, I believe. So, uh, you know, she's big. I mean, she's only a, a little bit, um, I mean, just like a foot tall, foot shorter than me. So anyway, she's really big. So uh, what you're gonna see is gonna be kind of limited. So I'm gonna, you know, be pushing things around and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna pull these right now and I'm gonna start putting it on the mat um, while it's kind of like paused for a second. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. <laughs> right, I had to say that. And for those of you guys I know the content's so different um, between all the different social media channels. So right now, I finally have done something on TikTok where the people on TikTok like me. <laughs> and uh, so if you haven't been on TikTok or if you haven't seen me on TikTok, please find me. It's the Useless Crafter. And I'm doing a lot of HT. I'm Right now, it's the HTB hack. All right. I'm gonna show you real quick. This is just, you recognize her, right? It's her hand, her hair, um, and it's a really big piece, right? I mean, this this I use 12 by 24 cardstock. Um, now, if you notice, I like to use the grid of squares, which is my own SVG file. You can buy it on the uselesscrafter.com. You can get it for free if you subscribe to my newsletter, which I've yet to create my first newsletter. So that's kind of like, just to give you an idea of how often you're gonna be getting a newsletter. Um, uh, yeah, the reason why I like using it is because w once I pull all these pieces together, all four corners meet up, it's totally flushed, right? Um, and it's nice to have because then you don't have to recreate the squares every time you do the project. It's just sitting inside your design space library like any other image. So. The reason why I do it that way is because, I mean, she's 48 inches. If you followed my design space tutorial, there are no seams at all in any of the colored pieces. So the only seams that you're going to see are gonna be at the edge of the black because think about it, her brown hair is gonna sit on top of this. So this seam is not gonna be visible, just like the quarter of an inch right here. So with the grid of squares and with everything else that we do or that I do is I'm really trying to hit it like at every angle, wherever we can minimize the seams, we're gonna do it so that the whole project, when you add up all the little wins that we were able to piece together, it's gonna look flawless. And that's kind of where I wanna be. Like I don't want to ha make a big project because anyone can make a big project. You just slice until you have the material <laughs> to cut it and that the Cricut can cut it, right? So I turned this, um, flipped it over so that we can tape it together. So you can see right now, actually, it's kind of hard to see the seams. Like it kind of blends in, right? And that's my whole point. And this is just all black. Wait till we have all the beautiful colors on there. You're not going to notice it. So like I said, it's just like anywhere that we can um, minimize the seams, you're going to want to do that. So when we're putting together the black background, I like to pick one piece up and kind of push it against the other piece so that it is tight. And then I'm going to tape it down. All right, and oops, hold on, let me check something. Okay, oh, I thought there was no sound for a second. Okay, 
I'm like, I've been talking quite a bit for there to not be any sound. All right, so I'm gonna tape it down here and here, and I'm gonna keep this like that. I'm gonna bring the next two pieces. So the next two pieces are, look how, I mean, this is her, her skirt, right? So it's humongous, it's super long. All right, I'm gonna flip this over, tape it from behind. And the reason why we're taping it from behind is because the colored pieces are gonna sit on top, but there are gonna be places where you see the black background. And so we don't want the tape to kind of come through at all. Even though it's clear tape, you can clearly see it. <laughs> uh, pun intended, okay. I'm just gonna tape this up, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape these four pieces together. So now it's a pair with a pair. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it over this way so that you can kind of see, and we're going to do this. So you see like with the grid of squares, they kind of all meet up, and it's you know the best that we can do. So I'm gonna flip this up, push it against this piece, and for some reason, it's not lining up as well. Okay, here we go. I don't know what happened here. It's like it's sliced off for some reason. All right, I'm gonna tape it like this. It's gonna be okay. All right, um, the only other thing with the black background is at the very edge, because we know that's the seam that's kind of that's not gonna be covered. I like to tape it along as much as I can so that that doesn't bend or move at all because that will catch some light and it will draw your eyes to it. So I wanna tape that down and then it's all going on a foam board so it will lay flat. Um, but again, just all the little things that we do to make sure that it's all good, right? So, okay, I'm gonna tape so then down here, I'm gonna tape that little section as well. Okay, um, she's got two little feet. That's all that's left. So it's her, you know, top to bottom, it's her top half, her bottom half, and the feet. The feet I'll add at the end because it's not a big deal. Okay, so I'm gonna flip her, oh, it's <laughs> so big. All right, I'm gonna flip her over and start adding the pieces down so that it can come to life and you can see how awesome this is. Now. Um, if you saw the video tutorial, and let me pull out one more drawer so that it'll give me support over on this end. Her hair is, I mean, it's so pretty. It's in two pieces, but you're not gonna be able to see the two pieces because it's going to have this on top, which is, I'll show you in just a second. Let me pull this down. So since we sliced the hair, I do want to put it back together. So I just need to look at this and see how we slice this thing. Okay, so it's like that. I'm actually going to flip it over, line it up. No, wait, how does it go? See, I'm like so bad when it comes to this. All right, I'm gonna have to flip it back over. I don't know where, where it lines up. <laughs> we'll tape it together later, I guess. Uh, all right, or maybe we don't even need to tape it. We'll see. So it goes something like, oh, okay, I see. So it lines up down here. All right. We'll see how that goes. Um, Kayla from the Salty Yankee, this is where I got the file from. Um, I've done a few, she's done a few custom pieces for me in the past, which I love. And uh, this obviously was not for me. She just did this for her shop, but um, I love her designs. She's a great, great, great designer. And she also does, I feel like, um, with these characters, it's kind of like how I would want it to be designed. So it's meant to be like super easy. So instead of the brown hair being in multiple pieces, it's really only in two. And technically, it probably should have just been one piece. I We had to slice it because we made her four feet. But if we had made her 
two feet tall. Um, she would be one, one, the hair would be one piece. And then on top is this, look. And what's awesome about this piece is it, it hides, it'll hide the seam right there and it creates the pieces of the hair without the brown being in multiple pieces. I mean, I just, I love that. I think it's genius. Okay, here is her face. So, now um, if you notice, and I always do this, and I always recommend doing this, which is right now to not glue anything down. We're just piecing it together so that we can see where all the pieces go and um, so that we can still make adjustments, right? So, you can see she's starting to come to life, right? And look at how cute these glasses are. So this is um, a Cricut, it's it's their glitter cardstock, but not just the glitter cardstock, because it's like, I think it's their shimmer line or the bedazzled line. So there's no, it's smooth on top. But the way she designed the, the glasses is the black outline is another piece. So, what is cool about this then is that I cut out actually multiple pieces of the black so that we can layer it so that the glasses actually will pop out a little bit more and won't lay so flat on her face. But that we will do later. But you see, it's gonna go down like this. So cute. Um, okay, so we're dropping in all the pieces so you can see her come to life. And what's gonna happen is we're going to then, once we lay everything down, then, and you adjust it and you like where it's sitting, then we start to glue or tape each piece one by one down. So that is pretty much step one. Um, okay, so this one is like this. I mean, she's she's so cute, and I love all the colors and all the th all the extra things that I will be doing is gonna make it like so fun and so much more than just a paper project, right? Like the pom poms and the HTV that we're gonna be doing, and I'm gonna be doing sublimation too, just to get some extra details that. Um, I want to try. I'm just experimenting. I don't know if it's going to work. Um, okay, so we've got all that. Uh, okay. And more pieces over here. We have the ear. Uh, how does this work? Okay. So with the hair, my recommendation is going to be tape the brown together, tape the black on top of the brown so that the hair becomes one piece. I think that's gonna make it a lot easier. Okay, what am I missing? I'm missing her neckline. She's starting to come together, huh? All right, let's get to her face real quick. Put her lips down so that she doesn't look so weird like that. So I actually, um, like I said, because we're doing extra things to this, I will not be gluing this down today. I'm only piecing this together so you can see what it looks like before we glue it. But the gluing part is, um, any other paper project so that's not like it has any secrets the secrets or the tips really is piecing it together first before you glue it so that everything is balanced and it, it, we're gonna make mistakes things are gonna move a little bit and you think you put it down where it's supposed to be but what's nice about um, doing it piece by piece after you've already settled on the alignment is that if when you do make a mistake and like I said it's gonna happen 
we can kind of minimize it by adjusting all the pieces around it. So it's not gonna be like one huge gap and then everything else looks good. We're gonna minimize it so it's gonna look, it's gonna be just a big, a slightly bigger gap that your eye might not catch because we're going to distribute the error to all the other pieces. So that's kind of what this is all about. All right, she's looking so cute. All right, um, all right, her earrings. Sorry, I'm so excited about this piece. So I am going to plop down the earrings really quickly. I only did one pom-pom because tomorrow's tutorial is gonna show you how to do the other pom-pom, but this is kind of what I'm thinking. So it's gonna sit like that and it'll dangle. So I'm probably gonna take out, or actually it might have to be a little bit closer. I'm probably gonna take out that blue piece. So it'll just be black and it'll have the pom-pom like that. Yeah, cute, huh? <laughs> okay, uh, move that. Let's see, I'm um, piecing it all together. All right, we've got. Now, I ended up changing out my blade after this cut. I might recut this piece just because I don't want to deal with this. But you can see the butterflies didn't remove itself, and it's just a bad cut, so. Instead of wasting time, um, just know I'm gonna recut it. I don't wanna take my X-Acto knife and try to get out my butterfly and make it all better. Especially because my, my wrist still hurts a little bit and I definitely don't wanna be using, wasting my, my hand strength on this. Okay, here we go. Um, so we've got that. The butterfly goes up here, which hopefully, did I do the same? Oh, I did do the same piece. Okay, this is the butterfly piece and it's gonna go, oh, it's gonna go up here like this. Uh, where does this piece go? Hold on, no, this is this side. This is like this, okay. So this butterfly is gonna go like this. I'm gonna want it up and I'm gonna have the yarn right there. But um, I don't have regular pieces for it to go in there. Uh, I have this piece, where does this piece go? So see, it's gonna, when you're doing just paper, right? It's gonna sit flat like that, but we're gonna have it sitting up and it's gonna be beautiful. Okay, uh, let's continue. All right, this piece right here, this little black border, we're actually gonna put HTV flock on here so that it's gonna give us a different texture and it's gonna pop out a little bit because right now it's blending in with the rest of the black. Um, so that's gonna make it so much better. Okay, so this goes down here. So cute. I can't wait. Oops. All right. So you see how I had to make an adjustment there? So. So you don't want to put these pieces down and glue them right away because you really, oh yeah, because there's another piece that goes there. this little guy go oh right <laughs> literally right there right okay um we got two more little pieces
Okay, um, all right, now we've got the blue pieces. I love, love the colors that I picked for this. Hopefully you will too. All right, so this goes something like this. You can see I really should have changed out my blade before I did, before I finally did. It should have happened a while before that. <sighs> Something like that. And this piece is, sorry, I have, okay, let me move this so that you could see it some more. All right, this piece, because we did, we did her so big, it needed to be sliced up and I'm actually missing it. Hold on, let me see, where is that piece? I'm missing the other piece. Hold on, let me see. Did I not cut it? Okay, it's somewhere in my art room. I don't know what happened to it. Here's the final bottom layer of the skirt though. So we're gonna be putting that together. Let me move up my screen so I can see what I'm... Okay. So we've got this piece. No. <laughs> I am so bad at piecing these things together. All right, this one I know goes here like that. Then it's the wavy piece next to it, okay. Then it's So you can see my pieces are not, hold on, let me move her some more. Okay. Try to line it up here so that you can see it. This goes down a little bit. This goes like. We've got this beautiful pink piece that goes along here. This will help us align it a little bit more. See, this needs to go down a little bit. I have one more panel that goes there. We sliced that, we made it a deliberate seam because it was too big of a piece and I didn't have 12 by 24 cardstock. So there, now it's starting to look right. Okay, I'm so excited for that. Um, I just cannot believe I'm missing that blue piece. Give me one second to just take another peek somewhere. All right, I'm gonna have to cut that. Um, but this is what she looks like, okay. And her face got all distorted from me moving her. <laughs> she's pretty cute, right? Okay, so now that we can kind of, she's in the frame, let's talk about all the things that we're adding. So to her skirt, if you remember at the bottom, which now I don't want to move her anymore. So we're adding pom-poms right here. We're adding this flock HTV here which will be like here, so that it's gonna add a different black to it, so that it's more than the black that's also in the background. It's more of like a stitching feel, right? More clothing-like feel. We've got um, the butterfly with the yarn that's gonna pop up over here. 
which is more like what is in the movie where it does stand out a little bit. Um, we have the earrings that we're gonna add. The glasses are gonna pop up off the frame because we're gonna do multiple layers of the black and so that we're gonna layer it so it's gonna pop, you know, kind of like stick up on her face. Um, and then I'm gonna move this. When we get to the bottom part, okay. So in the movie, she's got like little tassels like this throughout her dress. Like I'm probably gonna do five of them maybe. So like one, two, three, four, five. So I'll probably do five and have them kind of like glue them on, but it'll be fringy, which I think will be cute. On this side, I wanna do some HTV right here. Um, some HTV and sublimation. I really want the colors. I wanna do little like teardrop shapes um, where normally I think in her skirt, if you look online, it's embroidery. So it's gonna have, I'm gonna have it right here, um, like just a little design down here that we will add HTV to it. All right, I hope this is what you were hoping for. And um, tomorrow I will be doing all the fun pieces. So we'll be putting it together. Um, we can't really glue down the pieces until like I've worked on adding the patches. So we're gonna do all the extra things tomorrow. And I guess part three will be like putting it all together. So tomorrow will be like the pom-pom, the tassels, all of that stuff, because now we have her and we know her sizing and then we're gonna put it all together. All right, um, let me know what else you wanna see. If you have ideas, oh my gosh, it'd be awesome. Like what I'm envisioning is very much like Frida from last year, if you remember, with the rolled flowers and the flowers kind of like popping out from her hair and um, you know, the, the swinging earrings, all of that stuff. All right, have a great day. I will see you guys back tomorrow, bye.